preaching of the gospel soon be over, soon be over, soon be over, preaching of the gospel soon. Oh, thank God all over. Yeah. All over. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Preaching of the gospel too. Preaching of the gospel too. All over. Thank God all over. Yes, all over. All over. Yes, all over. Oh, preaching of the gospel too. too. Thank God the preaching. All over. Oh, no. 
perfect and infallible understanding of all things. The Bible says he made the earth by his power and established the world by his wisdom and he stretched forth the heavens by his understanding. He's a God that have no flaws and he have no errors. He don't counsel anyone. He worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. We thank him for being perfect and the true sender of holy prophets and holy apostles. God don't send everything. When God sends something, he wants that thing to reflect him. Thank God for this youth conference and I'm so grateful to all the ministers that are here and the ministers that are absent. We greet all of our brothers and sisters that are watching around the world in the name of the Lord Jesus. As I often say, this is your church. The Truth of God program is a program designed to point you to God. This is why we labor to dig all of our information out of the scriptures. When you don't want the scriptures, you don't want to be saved. I had one man write me and ask me, why you always got to use the Bible? Don't you got a mind of your own? <laughs> I don't want to use my mind. Your mind gets you in trouble, don't it? So this is God's suggestion. Let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. When you have the mind of God, you won't go wrong. But when we lean to our way of thinking, we have to go wrong. We go wrong all the time. That's why you constantly have to hear the words of God, which are the thoughts of God concerning us. So everything and anything in us that have deviated, that's crooked, the Lord our God can make straight. We had a sweet time last night, didn't we? You're not going to have no excuse, God knows. The word of God is so great, so powerful, so wholesome, so strong. And when something is strong, a lot of people cannot adapt to strength. 
It intimidates them. And it makes others fight and get upset. But to fight God, you will never beat God. Now, some try to justify themselves by saying, well, who wrote the Bible? Or they say a bunch of Europeans wrote the Bible. Let me say this. The Bible is the only book a man is not even in man to write something against his will. Am I right, I said? We as men, we don't want to go against our own will. That's not the nature of the human race. So Jesus said, not my will. But let thine will be done. So a bunch of Europeans didn't get together to write a tough book like this. It's not a European that brilliant. <laughs> How can a European write, I beheld the earth and lo, it was without form and void and the heavens had no light. No European was back there. How can a European write, God is higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, longer than the earth. And if I cut you off or shut you up, who can hinder me? Ain't no European can come up with that. Can't no European write. I heard the voice of one speaking through the heavens coming out from where the seven candlesticks were. Hair, the whiteness of his hair was as the whiteness of wool and the whiteness of snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. You know, European can come up with that. European can tell you that when I saw the most high, he grabbed me by the locks of my hair and took me from the earth up into the heavens. Not a European under the sun can come off with that. So you give Europe too much credit. The book of scriptures is divinely inspired. That's why a man cannot go to school and come out a preacher. Preaching is a divine act of God. And you can't get that from a university. It takes God to make a preacher. And brother, when God makes you, won't there be many people agree with you? Because God will make you. Now when you're made according to the flesh. Why good Lord. Almost everybody would agree with you. Because you're going to tell them everything they want to hear. You're going to be afraid to offend people. And you're going to be too scared to lose your own life. But when you stand on the word of God. Your life is on the line. And brother. It's an honor. And it's a privilege just to be threatened on behalf of God's everlasting word. Isn't it? It's an honor. All right. We're going to dive into a few letters. Some of the news letters that came out in reference to us and what newspapers have to say, what Fox News have to say and some of these other fellas, we're just going to get three of them because there's so many of them. I have to dive into the Bible so I can grab hold of the devil and fight him. <laughs> so we'll get a few letters out of the way, then we'll go to work in the book of scriptures. All right, Dan, come on. Uh, this letter says, the Quincy Harris Morning Show with Kay Fox interviewed Pastor Gino Jennings. His church is located in Philadelphia, Truth of God. His message speaks on women wearing appropriately based on biblical principles. His message speaks on women 
dressing appropriately based on biblical principle. Women should not wear makeup and fake hair. He would not allow his daughter to attend a Regina or Beyonce concert because women aspire to look like them and that's not what they should be aspiring let me, toward. Let me, let, me, let me kind of interject that. You know, when I was having this interview with Fox, and you know, Fox tried to convince you that an apple is a banana. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was questioned would I let my daughters go look at Beyonce. Who is Beyonce to go look at? I mean, you act like she fell from heaven. Beyonce ain't nobody to go look at. If Jay-Z don't mind his wife walking on the stage buck naked, then that's foolish on Jay-Z part. My wife, my children don't need Beyonce as an example. I believe my wife, which is their mother, will do just fine. Right. All right, come on, Dan. Quincy showed pastor a photo that went viral a few years ago of Erica Campbell of Mary Mary in a fitted white dress. The pastor said that if he did not already know that Erica was a Christian, he wouldn't think she was by looking at the photo. That's not what I said. They showed me a photo of some Mary Berry, whoever she was, and she had on a skin tight white dress so she can reveal whatever she had. And they asked me that I think she was a Christian looking at the picture. I said if I didn't know she called herself a Christian looking at the picture, I would never conclude she's even saved or half saved or saved at all. Bible says you know them by the look. That's right. Right. Now, if a woman is a nurse and dressed like a cop, I'm going to think you're a cop. Am I right, I said? That's just common sense. So, looking at a picture of what he showed me, not by any means that I can conclude this woman even claimed to be saved. Amen. You see, Pastor Jennings don't care nothing about nobody's celebrity status. Right. Because there ain't a human on this earth more popular than God. Right. All, right. All right, come on, Dan. This next uh, reading is actually an article from uh, The Gleaner, which is one of the Jamaican, uh, Jamaican leading newspapers. The title is uh, Gino Jennings Calls a Spade a Spade, published on Saturday, March the 3rd, the year 2018. Uh, the editor, sir, American pastor Gino Jennings is the realest, quote unquote, and most principled cleric I have ever seen because most of his reasoning and logic, particularly regarding overdone makeup and jewelry, make perfect sense. Every human being was created beautiful in his her own unique way by the supreme creator of the universe. For Christians and secular persons to be deeply focused on enhancing their beauty to meet the world's modern definition of beauty, and in brackets this person says makeup, false hair, false putty, bleached out skin, and tight sexually revealing clothes, is a direct slap in the face of the supreme creator of the universe. The moment one begins to distort his or her natural beauty to look like another person will be the day he or she starts opening the doors to all forces of darkness that will invade and control his or her body. This is from the Gleaner, the oldest and probably the most popular yep. newspaper in Jamaica. They said we call a spade a spade and by God's grace, we did. Oh, yeah. And when you call a spade a spade, it caused a lot of controversy. Amen. We're no stranger to controversy. Amen. All right, one more letter. Now, this next letter is from Ricky Smiley, <laughs> the host of the Ricky Smiley Show, also one of the hosts of Dish Nation. Mm -hmm. All right, Rick. It's your time. All right, let's have it. This letter says, imagine you are a woman who has had a rough week. <laughs> it's Sunday and you decide to get dressed up for church. Mm -hmm. You put on some red lipstick and decide to wear a wig. 
Maybe because of the hellish work week you didn't have, you didn't have time to get your hair done, or maybe you couldn't afford a salon that week, or maybe you just really liked your wig. Feeling confident about yourself and looking forward to the love of Christ. You know, he really emphasized on them wigs, don't he? Does. He certainly does. Mm -hmm. All right. Feeling confident about yourself and looking forward to the love of Christ, you hear vile, judgmental, and mis misguided rants from a so-called pastor who is preaching with hate and not love. Mm. The sermon is pure evil as he places his ludicrous constructs on how you should present yourself for the fashion of church. Then he goes even further and rants about body parts, sex partners, and using language like quote unquote ho, disguising all of this as quote unquote word of God. Well, there are preachers like this, and the prime example is Gino Jennings from Philadelphia. That's right. That's enough of that. <laughs> the statement that Mr. Ricky Smiley made, hmm, you're feeling confident about yourself and looking forward to the love of Christ. To all of my women that are sinners and you that claim you're Christians, you know you're mighty pitiful if you need the hair of a horse to have self-confidence. Am I right, I said? See, Rick Smiley, he made, you know, you can hear him repetitions in the statements on wigs because he wear them. Ricky Smiley is a cross-dresser. He get dressed up like an old woman and entertain people. I mean, when I say fully dressed, earrings, lipstick, hair, hat, gloves, he put on women pantyhose and put on women's shoes and carry a pocketbook. So you know that so-called poor excuse of a man will try to ridicule what we preach. Now, you call it nonsense and foolishness and misguided information. Hmm. 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 Let's see, is this information misguided and let's see is it foolish first in the book of first corinthians now mr smiley i don't want you to forget you got an invitation yeah. you can bring everybody from dish nation if you like i'm challenging you to an open televised debate july 29th and uh we're gonna shoot this out with bible we're going to have a good old-fashioned shootout, Rick. Amen. Now you decide what you wear to the debate, your dress or your pants. Amen. Anytime a man called the Bible ludicrous, I don't mind having it out with you. Men got a little bit popularity in their belt and now they feel as though that they have a right to degrade God and men not the only one like this you have some women like this as well they feel as though because they are celebrities they can debunk God without consequences when Barack Changed his views on same sex marriages. And now he went from being against it to condoning it. CNN interviewed Jay Z to get his perspective. And Jay Z said that Barack was brave and to come out. 
he, it took a lot of bravery to come out and admit there's nothing wrong for two, to, two men to get married. So the news media go to the black community and use black artists that a lot of young men look up to. Yeah. And if the black artists tell our young men nothing wrong with being gay, nothing wrong with a man in another man's back pocket, So the young, naive man who look at the rapper, he say, wow, if Jay-Z said it's all right, it must be all right. Jay-Z ain't nothing but a sinner, just like you. The world will hear Jay-Z, but they have no respect for JC. Now, one of the reasons why they are targeting us, the truth of God, is because we are encouraging the world, men and women, to debunk and don't patronize what rappers believe, stand for, sing about. And they know that if they start listening to the truth of God, the hearers, that's money out of their pocket. It's all about the dollar. So guys like Ricky Smalley won't have no problem in condoning homosexuality. He don't mind being a cross-dresser. That's right. Because if a man, how can a real man think it's fun? I want this to be good in case I got any undercover cross dressers here. Genesis. Genesis 127. And then I want to get the book of Joshua, chapter 24, what I wanted to work on last night about the fear of God. Genesis, Genesis 1, 27. Genesis chapter 1 and at verse 27. Follow me. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Now, brothers and sisters, friends, and to my wonderful host of enemies, God made man in his image. And we as men, it is our obligation to reflect the characteristics, the behavior, and the standard of God. I remember when I preached against men dressing like women over the air, somebody wrote me in a form of rebuttal. And their rebuttal was, Jesus wore a robe, and today it would be called a dress, no it would not. It would not. Now, that ought to tell you, if Jesus wore a robe back then, there still was a difference between the apparel of a man and the apparel of a woman. Even back then. Some of these preachers wear robes to preach in, but they ain't putting on a dress. In India, the custom of a male garment in India look like a wrap skirt here. But it's not a woman's apparel. Look how far you weak, spineless men go with this. Stockings? Heels? Lipstick? Earrings? A wig? A pocketbook? And then trying to act feminine? Yeah. Am I all right, I said? Right. Men who look
look up to these actors slash actress. Amen. Nobody should buy a ticket. Nobody should buy a DVD. Nobody should even go to the movies to watch some trifling man who claim he's a Christian dressed like a woman. Amen. Now, you may ask, well, Pastor Jenner, why shouldn't we buy a DVD? You are strengthening the hands of the evildoer. And every DVD you buy of their product, they get a certain percentage in their pocket. And you're strengthening the hand. I have seen also. Listen at this. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 14. All right, Jeremiah 23, 14. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible thing. I have seen in the prophets of Jerusalem something horrible, something awful. They commit adultery. They commit adultery. And walk in lies. They walk in lies. They strengthen also. They strengthen also. The hands of evildoers. That's written, isn't it? It's written. Are you listening? You parents that dress your children, your sons up like a little girl for Halloween. Satanic involvement and your little son look like a pervert. Yeah. What in the world have happened to our society? You know, I feel like John the Baptist literally in the wilderness of America crying out against the wickedness of this country and when you tell the truth they lay you out but if you go along to get along they're your friend 24th chapter Joshua chapter 24 of the book of Joshua follow me in your Bible Joshua chapter 24, and we'll start at verse 14. All right. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. You hear this? Yeah. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. And serve him. Serve them. And serve him. All right, thank God we only got one to serve. That's right. Serve him. In sincerity. Wait a minute. Mm. How shall we serve him? In sincerity. You got the mean business. In order to serve the Lord right, you have to mean business. Right. And when you are sincere about your walk with the Lord, prepare yourself for confrontation. That's right. That's now, right. don't be surprised who you're going to have a confrontation with. Because when it comes to scripture, people are extremely confrontational because one thing about the flesh they don't like their deeds to be condemned that's right you look at a child that get wrong he or she is happy as long as mom and father don't say nothing that's right. but the moment that mother or father pull that daughter or son in check he or she whole countenance change That's right. they become bitter they become angry stomp up and down the steps or, or be so disrespectful walk out the door and slam it yeah. same way with these modern Christians That's right. they are so wicked when you tell them what the Bible said they say I don't care That's right. Like when the Hebrew Israelites wrote me and laid me out because they say I'm clean shaven, I'm of the devil. They say if I'm clean shaven and uh, bald headed, I'm of the devil. Lord. And when I read the scripture where the apostle Paul, who was a Hebrew of the Hebrews, who was a Benjamite, who was called and sent by God, said it's a shame for a man to have long hair, a Hebrew Israelite wrote me back and said, 
I don't give a mf of what Paul said. Huh? He said, I don't give a mf about what Paul said. My Lord. Glory to God. What did the book of Joshua say? Now therefore fear the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the fear of the Lord, the respect for the Lord have left church. You know, when a child respect, reverence his parents, When he or she is doing what they have no business doing. When they just hear the key of the father or the mother, they scrambling around straight up. Because there's a level of respect and fear that they are intelligent enough to know I don't want to be caught by mama. And I don't want to be caught by daddy. But when the fear leaves the children. Then that daughter will lay on top of her boyfriend on her mama's couch. Even when daddy walk in the house and won't get up. Mother would tell the daughter something, the daughter will respond to the mother who you think you're talking to. Do you not see the condition of the homes of America? The homes of America, religion, politics, the music industry, everything have lost. They fear, they respect, Towards God. Now, some say, well, I respect God, but I don't respect all what the Bible say about him. You're contradicting yourself. The book of Joshua says, Now therefore fear the Lord. Now and therefore fear. You know, fear. if you're walking down the street and somebody throw a gun in your face, you're going to give up wallet. That's right. You may give up the lint on your clothes. All they got to do is say, hand me your wallet. You're going to start handing them stuff they didn't even request for. Wallet, watch, keys. If they say strip naked, you're going to do it. What makes you do it? Fear. Of what that gun can do to you. Now here we are. Serving a God that's stronger than a gun. And what the creator said. Fear not him. That can destroy the body. After can do no more. But fear him that can destroy both body and soul. Jesus said. I say fear him. When God talk, the world should listen. How do God speak? He speak through his word. But because the book of scriptures is not designed, nor have ever been designed to work in the favor of our fleshy wills. Men have a problem. In submitting. Women have a problem. In submitting. So they claim to be Christians. On their terms. You ain't a Christian because you say you won. And you're not a Christian because you claim you won. You're not like Christ. Until you follow the teachings that he gave his apostles. Listen. Now therefore fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. And serve him. 
In sincerity. Serve them how? In sincerity. You can't be serious. Huh. Twerking in church. Churches now have placed a pole. A dance pole. Talking about women doing a holy dance on a pole. And then when we preach against it, they write us. And you know what they say? What's wrong with that? <laughs> you see, the devil went in church business too. In the devil's church, there is no sin in being a sinner. In God's church, the wages of sin is sure death. And the gift of God is eternal life. If we go and serve the Lord with sincerity, then what are we serious about? The salvation of our soul. You got one soul. If you lose that soul, you have lost out with God throughout eternity. Viewers, Satan, through entertainment, through Hollywood, through preachers, through celebrities, have brought all of this rubbish. Give me the book of Zephaniah. Let's see what happened to the sanctuary. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. Right. I want to show you what the priests, the preachers, what they brought in God's house. In the book of Zephaniah chapter 3. The book of Zephaniah chapter 3. And we're at verse 4. Listen. Her prophets are light. Her prophets are light. And treacherous persons. Imagine following a treacherous man. Amen. Evil, ungodly, wicked, a wolf in sheep clothing. Uh -huh. Her priests, her priests or her preachers have polluted the sanctuary. Polluted. How did they pollute God's house? They have done violence to the law. They violated God's word. Now, pollution is unclean. Makes you feel sick if you get around it long enough. If I really have the Holy Ghost, the spirit that is in me will cause me to rebel against religious pollution. Yeah. Now, when these so-called actors who claim they're Christians get dressed up like women, they are supported by those who claim they're Christians. When these two men get married who claim they're Christians, they are supposed So pollution to them become good. That's right. They call evil good. In the book of Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 20. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 5 and at verse 20. Listen. Woe unto them. Do you hear this? Woe! Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 20. Woe unto, unto them, them that call evil good and good evil. Do you hear this? Amen. Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 20. Now, viewers, oh, glory to God. I don't care if you're an entertainer and you make 50 million a year Amen. or every week. Yeah. Every entertainer, every actor or actress, every Hollywood director, every Democrat or Republican, every congressman, every preacher, it doesn't matter who you are, no. anything that God speak against and yet you say it's nothing wrong with it, you are challenging God. You Christians, so-called. Yeah. How in the world can a Christian judge 
marry two women. How can you say over two men? I pronounce you partner and partner in the name of Jesus Christ. May you go in peace and may the blessings of our heavenly father be with you. God blessing have never been upon abomination. No. Are you listening? So the entertainment industry, the celebrity industry, all of them endorse what God is against. That's right. And they say this should not matter to no one because Jay-Z said it shouldn't matter what another man do in his bedroom. If a man found real love from another man, can you imagine a so-called man talking like this? What is happening to our men? Amen. That a man will say it's real love when a man marry a man. You men that think this way, I question your manhood. Am I right, I said? Right. Even a dog don't go after another male dog. Glory to God unless he want to fight him. It's wicked, stubborn, rebellious, arrogant, self-righteous, self-centered man. We are blessed to be made in God's image. That's right. But man have lost respect and fear for his Lord. And as a result of such, man have declared a lifetime of rebellion against God. That's right. So what the rapper industry do make mockery of God in their music. They cuss at God in their music. They cuss at the scriptures and their music. Hollywood play with scriptures. I want to say, oh no we don't. God is not an Australian. That's right. They made this movie last year, supposed to be Noah. And a little white Australian boy Supposed to be God. God ain't no boy. Bible said God is not a man. And if he's not a man that he should lie, I know he's not a boy. Be not deceived. Do you hear the Bible talking? In the book of Galatians chapter 6 and at verse 7. Be not deceived. Why? God is not mocked. You can't even make a cartoon about scripture. That's right. That's right. Because that's disrespecting scripture. Why is it you so-called Christians will take your children to a so-called Christian movie to look at biblical characters in cartoon form? Yeah. Islam got more respect for their own belief than you got for Jesus. That's true. That's true. They made a cartoon about Muhammad. Muslims rose up. They was ready to kill the ones that done it. That's right. That's right. But you sick, weak, feeble Christians. Somebody make a cartoon about Jesus. You go buy the DVD. Go buy it. That's right. You take your children to it. That's right. They have a so-called Christian play, and a parent will feel honored. My my son, he's 
playing the role of Jesus. There's a play that came out in the 60s or early 70s that's still out now. Jesus Christ Superstar. The title is a lie. Title's a lie. Jesus ain't never called himself a superstar. No, no. Do you see the lie? Yeah. Glory to God, I want to soak you with the Bible. Did All you? we deal with here is scriptures. That's it. That's it. We don't deal with your feelings, no. your personal views. No. Only thing we're interested in, what God thinks, how God feels, what did God say. If you don't like it, that's your problem. Right. That's right. Do you hear what it says? Be not deceived. Don't be tricked. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, whatever a man dish out, that shall he also reap. So all this mockery and disrespect that the human family is doing to God, He's gonna pay you back. Pay you back. He's just letting you go on. That's right. But he's going to get you back. That's right. We're talking about God. Amen. You that say there is no God. The sun still rises, And the sun still sets. The fool that said in his heart. The fool. Do you hear? 53 and 1 says. The fool has said in his heart. There is no God. Corrupt are they. What? Corrupt are they. Righteous are they. Corrupt are they. A few years ago, I think I was in Europe. And there was a church that opened up in Europe. And uh, it's called the Church of Atheists. They bought an abandoned Catholic church. And it was packed. And the head devil, the minister. Amen. He said, it is so beautiful to be able to come together with so many unbelievers. He said, doesn't it make you feel good to know it's no power over you? That's something to say. That's what you think. My Lord. God that made the heavens. You said there is no God, but yet you got this massive sun. Yeah. And rain come and bring fruit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He can afflict pain at will. That's right. God said, I kill. I make a lie. I wound. I heal. So you saying that God don't exist, it doesn't stop him from being God. That's right. You're just another little fool on the earth. That's right. You wealthy rich celebrities. The last one you meet is the God that you made fun of. The God that you made mockery of. The God that you blasphemed against. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you die, Mr. and Mrs. Entertainer and Mr. and Mrs. Celebrity, they can roll you in the church all you want. All they want. A preacher can try to put you in heaven much as he please. But your Lord know. You made mockery of him. You tried to belittle him. You called him a liar. That's right. You said he did not exist. That's right. You said that God was nothing but a white European. But when the judge comes. And snatch your soul out of your body. And your spirit stand in the presence of God. 
the fear that your body never had, your spirit shall have. Bible says dust go back to dust and the spirit go back to God. How can a so-called Christian, never mind a so-called Christian, how can anyone with morals, ethics, decency, listen to the rat trash The rappers call the female a bee, a female dog, because that's what he think of her. Right. Whose mouth is full of cursing. In the book of Romans chapter 3 and at verse 14. Listen. Romans 3 and at verse 14. What did it say? Whose mouth is full of cursing. Whose mouth is full of cussing. And bitterness. Bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed they blood. They hate the Bible. Yeah. Brother, the entertainment community hate the scriptures and then some try to pretend like they don't hate it by call themselves Christians. Christians. Have you noticed now anything in anyone? They call themselves Christians? You will have a gay parade. That's right. And over 85% of the homosexuals will say we're Christians. Ask yourself, viewers, why T.D. Jakes don't say nothing about homosexuality, same-sex marriages, men with men, women with women. Think. Why don't he say nothing? He's busy flapping his hands around. Why don't he say nothing? Either you are against it or you condone it. If you are against wrong, you are speak out against the wrong. I forgot the gentleman name. A journalist gave an interview to Jake's. No, not Pierce Morgan. And he asked Jake's a question. Can homosexuality, in fact, the interview is on YouTube. Can homosexuality and the church coexist? Jakes didn't stutter. He said, why, certainly. Then Jake said, there's many ways. There's a whole lot of ways to get to God. Use a liar. There's one way to get to God. The Bible says a highway shall be there and a way and that way shall be called the way of holiness. These men, they hate the Bible. So this is why you see the potter house, but God is going to crack that pottery. Many ways to get to God. The Bible don't teach that foolishness. Jesus saith unto him. Listen at this. Now in the book of St. John chapter 14 and at verse 6. Let's compare what Jake said. To what Jesus said. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 14 and at verse 6. John 14, 26 said. St. John 14 and verse 6. All right, John 14 and verse 6. All right. Jesus saith unto him. Jesus saith unto him. I am the way. No, I have many ways. I am the way. Spell way. W-A-Y. S. W-A-Y. Where's the S? No S. W-A-Y. T.D. Jakes is nothing but an evangelistic liar. That's right. Did you hear the old troublemaker? That's right. He's nothing evangelistic. He's <laughs> tell us the truth. 
That's right. Hallelujah. You can't tell us the truth. You don't believe in Jesus. And the life. At what? And the life. Amen. Jesus' life contradicts ours. That's right. His life is the standard of how we should live. That's right. His life is the standard of how we hope to be and should be That's and it. are trying to be. That's right. That's A right. whole lot of ways. Mm. These men lie with no conscience at all. They are waxing fat. Listen. Now in the book of Jeremiah chapter 5 and at verse 28. Listen to what the Bible says about these greedy false prophets. They are waxing fat. They wait, wait, wait. Fat. They what? They are waxing fat. I want you Jake's followers to listen at this. They are waxing fat. fat. They are waxing fat. Fat. And what happened to them? They shine. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. They shine. Yea, they overpass. They overlook the deeds of the wicked. The preachers don't preach against the sins of the world today. No. Because they know if I preach against sin, it will make me unpopular. Yeah. Wherein if you're in this sincerely for God, you're not about popularity. Popularity is vain. That's right. That's vanity. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Go back to the book of Joshua, if you will. Back in Joshua. Everybody all right? Amen. Come on, son. Back in Joshua 24 and verse 14. Yes. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. I, I, I want to encourage fear. all my fear. brothers and sisters that are here and that are watching around the world. Amen. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Respect them. That's right. If your wife leave you because you believe God, Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. If your husband refused to take care of you and your children because of your fear for God, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. And God will not forsake the righteous. That's right. 